Okay, next up, we're going to update Passport firmware. Keeping the firmware up to date on your device is good practice so that your device can benefit from the various security updates and new features that are added by the foundation developer team. Once again, Envoy makes this really, really easy. Uh, and I'm just going to show you how you can do that right now. So on Envoy, uh, we have the instructions there that say next, let's update Passport's firmware. Passport is asking us whether we want to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And Passport is now asking us to insert a micro SD card. So if we hop back over to Envoy and just follow the instructions there, we're just going to click continue. And Envoy now says, insert the micro SD card into your phone. There were two adapters shipped with Passport, one for Apple phones that allows you to plug in a micro SD card and one for Android phones using a USB-C adapter. And that's the one I'm going to use today. So I'm just going to pop that into my phone with the micro SD card that was also supplied with Passport inserted into it. And then on Envoy, I'm just going to press continue. And Envoy is going to ask me where I would like to save the firmware file that it's already downloaded for me in the background. So I'm just going to navigate to my USB drive. It's already populated the name. Now, of course, when you come to do this yourself, the name of the firmware may well have changed uh, and that's not an issue. So once I'm inside the SD card, I'm just going to press save. And then Envoy says, remove the micro SD card and insert into Passport. So we now have the SD card out of our phone. I'm just going to pop that into Passport with the gold pins facing towards me. And then we're going to click retry. And then I can choose the name of the file that was just added. Once again, the, the file names that you can see on screen may well be different to the ones that you choose to use when you come to do the firmware updates. Passport will do a final check. Are we sure that we want to install this firmware? Yes, we are. And then it's just going to go ahead and perform the update for us. During this process, Passport will reboot. And there, we, there you go. You can see that it is now updating the firmware. And once again, now that the firmware has been updated, we just need to enter our PIN to log back into the device so that we can continue with the setup process. And there we go, firmware updated, and we are now ready to move on to the next step of the setup process, which is creating our wallet seed.